One wouldn't blame the Perry baseball team if it took some time to gel this spring, mixing in talented senior leadership with two sophomores and a freshman in the starting lineup. Yet here are the Commodores, sitting 11-1 and one and unblemished in Northwest Central Conference play. Tonight, our Tyler Segerman tells us what's working in Perry Township so far this season. If you got good arms, you can usually stay in a baseball game. A Commodore clinic thus far on the mound. Our pitching's really consistent. We've always been there every game so far this year. Senior Joey Hurston is among four Perry pitchers who have a combined ERA of 1.05. Ryan Yeeks, who will be playing baseball at the next level in Tiffin, believes rallying the team has been just as important to their success. The biggest thing is just for us seniors to really get the young guys to buy in. And, you know, at the start of the season, there's a little bit of class between upper and lower class, but now we're starting to really buy in, and it's showing on the field. We're playing together, we're hitting the baseball. A brotherhood on display just this past weekend after they defeated then 10th ranked Botkins 11 to 1, securing Perry's 10th win of the season. I had 10 guys stay, uh, 10 of the 15 guys that went stayed and took batting practice until it got dark. And that's after a win. So I think that's gelling. I think that's doing some good things. It's the bottom of the order. Those guys, you, you need, need some hits here and there from. have just started to hit, and that's made a big difference. You know, the Braylon Ardeners, the Brady Shibleys. The lone setback for this team came at the hands of Division II Shawnee, who the Commodores only lost to by three runs. The younger guys, especially at freshman, they were intimidated playing Shawnee, but I think it uh, tells us we can play with anybody and hang with anybody no matter who we play. I think we can go as, as far as we want to. Sitting atop the Northwest Central Conference unbeaten, there's no question Perry anticipates to finish there for only the second time in 11 years. We're expecting to win the rest of our NWCC games. That's without a doubt. I mean, this group's hungry and they're ready to come. We come to play every night, and especially when it comes to conference nights, you know, we're going to throw our best and we're going to hit our best on those games. And, you know, that's ours for the taking right now. Make no mistake, this group also understands what's on the horizon. That being the fourth ranked team in all of Division Four. We have LCC on the schedule <laughs> next week, so we'll find out in that case. We got some tough games coming up with LCC and a couple bigger schools, so you know we really got to stay focused, and that's a big gauging point for our tournament run. So stay tuned for the next two weeks, and hopefully see what we can do. In Lima, Tyler Segerman, your News Now Sports.